Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 1st of 2021. Well, it is titled galaxies and the South Celestial Pole. So what do we see here? Well, we see a number of objects prominently seen in the southern sky. And one towards the top of the image is the Southern Cross. And we can see the four stars that outline the shape of a cross there. And we can also see next to that just down into the left a dark region is a dark nebula known as the Colsack Nebula. So that's a very dark region uh, where dust is concentrated and where we would expect stars to be forming. Now as we continue to look around at other objects here. The next two very prominent objects are down towards the bottom of the image. And those are the Magellanic Cloud clouds. Those are two small satellite galaxies of our Milky Way. And on the right, we see the large Magellanic cloud with a little more structure to it. And some very bright regions of blue young stars that have formed and a lot of pink hydrogen regions, again, also associated with star formation. And we can also find the uh, Tarantula Nebula there in the large Magellanic cloud, which is an extremely large star forming region which dwarfs our own Orion Nebula that's a little closer to us than within our galaxy in terms of the size of the star forming region. Now smaller is the small Magellanic cloud off over to the left. Now it's also interesting because those are very obvious objects to be able to see in the southern sky. So if you are south of the equator, they are very easy to see naked eye objects. You don't need anything else to be able to see those or to be able to see the Southern Cross or the part of the Milky Way there stretching across the sky. However, one thing very hard to see also pictured in this image is the South Celestial Pole. Now in the northern hemisphere, we happen to be very fortunate right now that there is a relatively bright star located near the North Celestial Pole to be able to identify it. And that is the star Polaris, which is one of the brighter stars in the sky, about the 50th brightest, but still relatively bright and easy to see uh, and happens to identify the North Pole because it's relatively close to it. There is a South Celestial Pole known as uh, Sigma Octans. And it is located towards the central portion of the image here. You kind of have to imagine a line through the northern cross up at the top through the top and bottom stars and extend that down towards the Magellanic clouds. And that would then pass very close to the south celestial pole. However, Sigma Octans is not a very bright star. It is actually at the very edge of naked eye visibility meaning that it doesn't really do a lot of good because if you have a little bit of light pollution, it's going to be almost impossible to see. So unlike Polaris, which easily identifies the North Celestial Pole, there are other methods that have to be used to try to find the South Celestial Pole. And one is again connecting those two stars and going down about four and a half times the length of that distance between them. And that would bring you relatively close to Sigma Octans, which is the closest star to the South Celestial Pole right now. Now, of course, this will change as the poles slowly wander due to the precession of the Earth's axis. So the fact that we have a North Celestial Pole star right now does not mean there will always be one. And in fact, on many hundreds of years from now, Polaris will slowly be wandering away. The pole will be moving away from Polaris and it will be less useful as a pole star. And likely over time, eventually the South Celestial Pole will point much closer to one of the relatively bright stars here and there could be a time thousands of years from now when there will be a bright star near the south celestial pole but not near the north. So that was our picture of the day for January the 1st of 2021. It was titled Galaxies and the South Celestial Pole. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Apollo's Muse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.